Welcome to the Smite God reveal for Persephone, Queen of the Underworld. Every season has its ending. The leaves fall from the trees. Once more, I descend to my husband's kingdom. The gods claim it as a place of shadows and sadness. But what do the gods know of death? What do they know of me? To them, I am merely Demeter's stolen daughter, or the wife of Hades. They never wondered why I ate the pomegranate seed. But I had my reasons. And soon, they will see why I am called Clever Persephone. <laughs> Persephone's passive is Pomegranate Seeds. Persephone places out harvest plants that give her pomegranate seeds when activated. When she gains 25 seeds, the next time Persephone dies, she instead revives, allowing her to fight for eight seconds while dealing reduced damage. If Persephone gains more than 25 seeds, each additional seed will be sold for three gold when she enters the fountain. Persephone's first ability is Bone Rush. Persephone conjures forth a skeletal warrior that charges forward and explodes into a shower of bones, damaging anyone in its path. The skeletal warrior will stop on the first target in its path. At the end of its shower of bones, the head of the skeleton lands and becomes a harvest skull. Persephone's second ability is Harvest. Persephone accumulates skulls that will slowly grow into different flowers over time. The first form is a skull that when hit with a basic attack will heal Persephone. The second form is a sprout that will explode and slow enemies when hit with a basic attack. The third form is a flower that when hit will chase enemies and bite them, dealing damage. Persephone can have up to 10 of these plants out at one time. Persephone's third ability is Flourish. Persephone bursts life, giving energy around her, launching her forward or backwards. Any harvest plant hit by the life energy immediately upgrades and activates. After using Flourish, the next harvest skull used will be spawned as a sprout. Persephone's ultimate is Grasp of Death. Persephone conjures a ball of vines that she throws forward, stopping on the first enemy or wall hit. If an enemy god is hit, they are entrapped. They cannot escape the ball of vines without breaking out of it with basic attacks. The entrapping vines continue to seek out additional targets after hitting the initial target. Enemies grasped by these vines are bound, meaning they can no longer move away from the entrapped target. If the entrapping vines are hit by five basic attacks, all effects end. Persephone must use Harvest preemptively for maximum effect. While quick harvest skulls can be used for healing, plants that have grown over time are most effective. Flourish helps Persephone evade fire while granting her a sprouted plant. While slowed, enemies inside her garden will have a hard time evading her flowers. With enough patience and planning, enemy gods will become food for her garden. Persephone prepares for the fire giant, creating a garden around him. Enemies quickly come to stop the attempt, but they have walked into Persephone's trap. Grasp of Death locks down the enemy team, leaving them helpless for her team, as well as her garden. Flourish quickly activates her plants, causing large-scale damage. Continuing to cast Harvest and Bone Rush, Persephone keeps dealing damage while setting herself up for a longer fight. A few more blooms and all the enemies fall. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Persephone, Queen of the Underworld.